Friday, Friday. You sing it. Friday, Friday on a toy hunt with Big Dub on Friday. Safety. Legends away, so Dub's on the run. No turtle is safe when he's on the hunt. Witness the sack, just give it a rub. Cause who knows what you'll find toy hunting with Dub. Bonus day again, Friday. Back in the car. Uh, I am headed to Walmart. Sunday morning, the continuation of where we were Wednesday after an unsuccessful toy hunt with the great Target toy coupon, which is disappointing. Hoping I could find some stuff there. And uh, I do have some other errands. I'm out running errands, ultimately. I got the, the football game coming up, but I'm out running errands. I picked up those pictures for Kaya. I got to get some this various things done you know i try to do that early in the morning on the weekend sometimes or early in the morning on like a wednesday but when there's not as many people out that's what i try to do but uh coming up on sunday life of the dubs is i don't know what i just don't know what we have fall break coming up and kai's gonna be in driving school we are going to see some movies which we'll probably talk about those, but I'm hopeful that I can find the energy wherewithal, motivation more than anything, to start at least rearranging the toys. Taking stuff down. The first real thing I need to do is take down all the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and try to get them somewhat bagged up. We may work on that all week. Um, and get those in the empty tubs that I've created and free up the huge white cabinet and figure out what I'm going to do. That's what I need to do. Uh, I'm going to leave some NECA Ninja Turtle stuff on display, of course. Um, but I need to just free up space. I need a lot more room for customs before we get to Legion's Con. Uh, I'm going to take down a bunch of Legions, uh, especially Legion Builders, not named characters. I'm now behind a bike who's just having a good time. On a double lane road, like a not a motorbike, a bicycle. We are going three. That's what it feels like. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go to Walmart. I'm gonna look for Stealth He Man. That's the main thing we're looking for. I'd also like to find Raptor, GI Joe Classified Raptor. I'm not sure if that's a Walmart item or not. I know it's a Target. I think I can get on Amazon. But uh, that's what we're doing. And. You know, I just don't think the road road, the highway, not that this is a highway, but this is not a back road. It's for, it's the, for the bike. And there's not a bike lane here. It's just in it. Like, there are plenty of roads that have bike lanes. I, don't I just can't imagine driving or riding your bike on a 55 mile an hour road. I don't know. It just feels dangerous. Anyway, uh, Walmart, we're going to look and just see what they have. Um, I don't know what's. You know, we should be at holiday restocking season. A lot of stuff's been getting clearanced and what have you. And uh, I feel like maybe there'll be new stuff. But I don't even know what I'll be looking for, if I'm honest with you. So, we're going to Walmart and uh, we'll have a toy hunt Friday bonus. Let's see what we can find. I say I hope I find Stealth He-Man, but Walmarts have not been carrying Motu around me recently. So, we'll see. Also, if you're watching and you're one of those people that's like, hurry up and get in the store. Just don't watch my channel. Your comment just gets thrown into the void and I block you. I'm just not the channel for you. And I haven't been for seven years. I don't know why you watch. I'm going to share what's going on in my life, my family's life, what I got going on. What's at this Walmart is the same as every other Walmart. That's what's here. Watch Seth. He shows you a bunch of Walmarts in 30 minutes and just goes right in the store. That's a better channel for you. Not mine. Oh, what's the toy choo-choo train? $15, those can't be the highest of quality. Interesting though. I will not fall victim. I don't think. <laughs> Make sure there's no Lord of the Rings. Mystery box. I don't think, I think this is the same as it has, but none of this looks new. I think we're all set, all set. Majin Vegeta, is that there? No, I gotta, no, dip. So at this Walmart, they have not moved the clearance into the home and garden, the way they have some 
reality. A ten dollars Zodiac. Do I want it for ten dollars? Most likely no, most likely no. End up at Ali's. This doesn't look like there's anything new out there, so I'm not optimistic for new items here. I still haven't seen this movie. I did see Joker. I think I talked about that Sunday. It was not very good. Uh, I am gonna still going to try to go see this at some point in the next week or two. The blame is on me. And can Nefaria, a bunch of Nefaria. These are all discounted on uh, Amazon, I think. Maybe Target, too, but I think on Amazon, they're like half price. A lot of Marvel stuff, though. Pokemon, now $48. What did it once be? It doesn't feel like a, a great value. $48. Boys to men, hurry up and get off now. I feel, I feel like you're showing up and you're uh, impacting my, uh, my copyright situation here. Max Mercury. If there was the clock man, if I could find him on a sale, whatever that guy's name is. McFarlane Clock King, I think. I think that figure looks pretty cool. Now, this is new, right? Newer, at least. Gunther. That's all right. There are some days I wish I hadn't got rid of all my ultimates. I sold them to Seth. Um, Jimmy just came back on uh, Bad Blood. That was here in Atlanta. I would have went, but it was the same day as Homecoming. And I was not going to miss that. Never going to miss the kiddos stuff. Star Wars, all those faders. That's coming to a raw stress for less near you. Sting down there. I would maybe buy a Cody Rhodes Ultimate. I just really like Cody and I like him more and more each day. And I'd like to have a single Cody figure, Doc. Try not, no Motu at all. None. Because I'm not getting stealth. He meant none. Guess I can look all up there. What's this all? This is all Bart. Bart, Bart, Bart. Nope. Bart man. Bart. Homer, I did get that Homer. Doesn't look like those are selling real well. Anything over here? No. Time to go to the Neko Funko section. It's a Turtles display. There's nothing. What is this? I mean, there's a lot of just random stuff out here. Nothing. Nothing of use. Nothing of use. At least not of use to me. Same. Oh, these are getting discounted. Leonardo's $25. Ultraman. He's on clearance. All this stuff. Look at all this whole section. I don't like that weird neck. I know that may be how it is in the Netflix show. I don't like it. Man, that whole Netflix section. Basically. It's on clearance. Guess that did not end up as a success for Netflix. I also, I, I think Nacelle is going to have a whole thing like this at some point. And have the Robotech with the biker mice. Whole anime section's on clearance, too. I wonder if the whole Mecha Funko section's going to be on clearance. This Matt and all, this is a Halloween mask. But... Boo! Come over here to this area that is the most always crazy weird. Why is it here? Is it on clearance? What is happening here? Area. There's nothing. Oh, well, here's our last stop. The Neca Funko section proper. I don't even know what would be here that I would get. Yeah, so I think these biker mice and then the Robotech are going to be uh, on an end cap. Ow. Flash Ronin. Goku. I wonder if that foot soldier. Let's see. Action figure two pack. Maybe they are $35. That's what Seth's been looking for. Maybe I'll scan them in the Walmart app. Oh, what's that? Goldo, Trunks. I got several Ginyu Fours here. Raccoon. You got what? Three of the Ginyu Fours? Is there a fourth? Looks like there's three. I'm going to scan those guys real quick. Both of those two packs rang up as store price unavailable, which makes me think they probably are this. Probably, because that one down there, the Wanderer, 
as long clearance. But I don't need them. At least not for whatever it was, $34.99. If it was like $10, would I get three extra foot soldiers and a Kino in the kickboxing bag? Yeah. But, you know, like $10 two pack, or maybe even $10 figure, like if they're $19.99. But not at that price. I don't even have the ones I have on display, and I'm about to take more of that stuff now. So, well, I'm doing good, not buying stuff I don't need. That's. Uh, what I've been thinking and talking about recently is not buying stuff I don't need and, or even have, like, really want. That's how I need to keep myself disciplined is if I say these are the things that I'm looking for before a hunt video, if I don't find that, I don't buy anything. Now, if I see something that's brand new that I didn't know it's out yet, but it's on my list to maybe pre-order, but that's different. But if it's like, oh, what's this random thing I didn't know about that maybe is cool, I don't need to buy it. Other thing I think I'm trying to reconcile is uh, just because I find something on clearance, cheap even, like cheap, cheap, like raw, does that mean I need to buy it? I know a lot of people like to play the long game. I still, long game is bad for the toy industry because eventually toys will just stop being made. But like if I wasn't willing to pay, say $24.99 for a G.I. Joe, then I didn't want it. That's just the reality. Because if I'm willing to buy it when it's $12.99, that $12 is not worth a lot in our world these days, comparatively speaking. And what is probably worth or rarer is the space I have, right? What is more, what's harder for me to come by, space for a figure or $10? And it's easier for me to make $10 than it is for me to create new space in the collection because that's limited. Not that money's not limited, but does that make sense what I'm saying? Like, I am bad about that. If we go to the Ross or the Ollie's and you're like, oh, look, here's this item I didn't even consider at all. Not at all. And it's $7.99 you know, some of that random stuff. And I didn't consider it at all. Wouldn't have bought it for $7.99 if that was its original price. But all I $7.99, I buy it. And then I'm like, well, what am I going to do with this? And it just sits in my garage, takes up space. Maybe I open it and it sits in the tub and takes up space. Or I just end up giving it away. Taking a Goodwill. Whatever. I don't need to buy that stuff. Like, just this, uh, the Target sale this week. There's the movie Carnage and the movie Venom. Those are pretty good looking Marvel Legends. I'm, I don't need them. I don't collect Marvel Legends. Kyle likes the symbiotes, but she's not too into action figures these days. And we have all these other symbiotes. And I have the SH Figure Arts versions. And I have Mayfex versions. So I don't need them. Didn't consider them at all. But then on the Target sale, it's like, oh, well, instead of $39.99, they're $24.97. Maybe I should get it. Why? <laughs> Just because it's 40% off doesn't mean I want it any more than when it was 40% more expensive. Now, if the thing was $100 and I was like, I'm not going to buy that. That's too expensive for me. I want it, but I don't want to spend $100. And then it's half price. That's different. But these are things, most of the stuff that gets clearance, none of us wanted to begin with. Or we would have just paid the regular price for. And I got to do better about that. So I'm just continuing. I'm having a dialogue with you. I know a lot of people enjoy talking about this kind of... I'm working through my feelings as it goes. Especially because I'm about to do a... You know, I, I tend to do some sort of every two year purge thing. And that's happened a couple times. And this year I've been in it. You know, I sold all my duplicates of G.I. Joe. I have a bunch of stuff to sell. Um, I'm hoping Jason wants to buy some some more stuff, Ginger Kid. Um, but I'm about to take a lot more stuff down. And, I, you know, you just get overwhelmed. You want to start over. You want something fresh. So I'm processing my thoughts. I'm doing it with you. I hope you enjoy it or it's helpful or therapeutic for you. But that's the end of this toy hunt. We didn't buy anything, which I think is a win today because there was nothing there for me to buy. Talk to you Sunday. We'll probably have more of this kind of talk going Sunday as I work my way through my thoughts about the collection and figuring out what I want to display and so forth as we move into quarter four. So anyway, hope you're having a good Friday. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you next time. Squeeze it.